Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I am sitting in something pretty special and something that I have never had in my possession and that is a right hand drive Beetle. Guys, this is a 1967 right hand drive European Beetle. Yes, it's got the early t uh, headlights. So the Porsche headlights, it's got front disc brakes, four lugs, this is the 1500 model, and take a look at this, how cool, I'm driving this for the first time, <laughs> it's kind of odd to be shifting this way, but how cool is this, this is my first time getting a bug like this, uh, I've had a, a Euro before, but it was a left hand drive, this is my first right-hand drive, and uh, I gotta say, the car is pretty cool. Probably had some form of restoration, you know, maybe a few years ago, maybe 10 years ago or so, maybe longer. Um, but headline is pretty good. Of course, I'm not caring too much about the white seats and a white car. Uh, look at the Valonis, uh this this interior, but how cool, man. Um, I'm digging this car, and I'm taking it for a spin just around here in the cul-de-sac in the back area. But, uh, Pretty, pretty nifty. So let's go take a look on the outside, what this thing looks like. So there you have it, let's take a look. 67 is so rare in the United States with the early features like you see here. So here's the early Porsche headlight. That's awesome. Got some snowflakes out here, Ha! Huh? It's December, Merry Christmas everybody. <laughs> uh, but what's great about a 67 from Europe is that it has four lugs. And it's the 1500 model. They had two different models. Some areas had three different models. Some areas still had 1200, which were mostly standard models. Or they mainly had a 1300 or a 1500 model. Most people, from what I hear, in Europe went with a 1300 model because of tax purposes. To get a 1500 model like you see here and the VW and, uh, 1500 insignia on the back, that's what... Uh, would, they would tax you more based on that engine so but this is a pretty sweet car guys uh, just got it in yesterday four lugs and that means disc brakes in the front and that's also very unique for 67 because the American bound 67s did not have the disc brakes in the front so very very cool it does have the drum brakes in the back Everything else is pretty much 67, one year only features like you see with the door handles and such, um, deck lid, rear apron, that sort of thing. But uh, they still kept the early Porsche headlight. So uh, very cool car, body chassis mashed. It does have, I believe, a period correct 1500 engine in it. So I had to pick this thing up. It's just so cool to get a right hand drive and a Euro 67 to boot. So, um, yeah, that's a quick video, guys. I just wanted to show this to you and showcase it to you and see what you thought. Um, I'm just out here with my phone and just, like I said, taking a drive out here. I don't have plates on this yet, so it's a private road so I can drive around. But super clean car, no accidents. This is a lot of fun. So, uh, all right, guys, I hope you liked that short video. Um, if you can, please uh, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll be bringing you content like this each and every week in the dub world. And what I find and what I don't find and road trips and whatnot. <laughs> so, all right, guys, hope everyone's happy and safe and being and uh, doing well. And um, yeah, give me a shot. I'd like to hear what your uh, comments are in the comment section below the video. All right, guys, take care. <laughs> I got to get used to this. So weird. I feel like a mailman. <laughs> In the United States, the mailman drives on this side. Wow. Car feels good, I gotta say. It's pretty solid, it's got some good pep. Nice. Woo! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Oh, I gotta shift. Oh. Alright, look at that, look at that, come on. <laughs> Whoa. Boom. In the 
this shop on a lift. says that's good we're good all right guys see you next time